Hey there guys, what's going on? My name is Mark and welcome back to our FIFA 19 Peter United Road to Glory career mode. Now, since I've been away, I've played some games and I've got some highlights for you and here they are. Okay, so starting these highlights off, we took on Tottenham at the Airbox. Evans getting the first highlight here as he plays it up to Memphis. Memphis gives it back to Evans, one on one. Can he keep his cool? Hits it low, but he's dragged that just wide of the post. Free kick to us now. Memphis to Pai steps over it. Gets it over the wall. Off the bar. Off the bar again. And they eventually gather it. We'll have a look at this here. What you see, it hits the bar. Hits the keeper on the back of the head. Hits the bar again. And then he eventually gets hold of it. Somehow that didn't go in. Ball played in field to Gomez. Now he gives it off first time to Max Evans. Max Evans in field to Sesson Young. Great first touch. Hits it back across. He places it in the corner. And he gets his first goal for the posh. The first touch sells his man. Just wait for it. See you later, sunshine. And it's a great finish. We'll keep the kickoff in. I've noticed that when the computers start passing it around first time, like watch this, you'll see when they start doing this, you are going to concede pretty much. There's no way of defending that quick one-touch pass. And eventually here, they play it back. It's going to eventually drop to Deli Ali, I think it was. It, who was it actually? I don't actually remember. Rafinha. Oh, it was Lucas Moura. He eventually places it straight in the top corner. Like I said, once they start passing it around like that, you, you can't do anything. So now we're back at square one, looking to get in front again. Played up to Max Evans. Cut inside one. Skips past another shoots it's saved and then they can clear easy pass to intercept here horrible first touch by Maja and now Lucas Moore is in bring off Oblak a little bit bring him out again he manages to stay big and tip around for a corner and now we're going to make two changes Gomez and Evans off for Eddie and Ketia and Reese Nelson the super subs from the Liverpool game can they do anything in this game well there's a highlight for a reason corner cleared eventually it's going to drop to Winks we eventually get rid of it right about wait for it now Reese Nelson upfield to Eddie and Kedia Eddie and Kedia lovely first touch to City's man down it's three against one right now he's holding up holding up eventually gives it to Reese Nelson he has got runners but both of them are being marked so he's going to take it the byline cut inside eventually shoot off the post and in and the super subs have worked again have a look at this from behind the way he just curls that in from a very tight angle right off the post keeper's got no chance Tottenham trying to build now. It gets played to Winks. Reed gets the tackle in. And Ketia clears it up. Upfield to Memphis. Now it's like five against one against Memphis here. He's a bit stranded. Eventually has the run of Reese Nelson. And look at Eddie and Ketia's run in the middle. The pace of him. Can Nelson find him? Of course he can. The two subs have linked up and got a goal and an assist each. I keep saying it. A fresh Eddie and Ketia against a tiring defence. There is nobody I'd rather have. He's got too much pace for them. And that's how that one finished. 3-1 in the end. And we move on to the next game of these highlights we took on Stoke. Angel Gomez now playing it upfield to Max Evans. He's in behind. You've spotted the run at the back post. So have I. Evans puts it across on a plate. And Session Young tapped home. We're coming forward again now. Great first touch pass. And Gomez upfield to Memphis. Memphis comes inside a little bit. There you go. He's trying to give it to Gomez. Luckily, it comes back to him. Memphis into Session Young. First time. And I'll tell you what, that's a great finish. I didn't notice it at the time. But now that I've edited this and saw the replays, it's so top corner. Like I said, we got a bit lucky. And that, he's, the keeper has got absolutely no chance. Watch it from this angle. He tilts his body, curls it round. Keeper, Butland is in no man's land. And it's straight in the top corner. Stoke coming forward now. They're going to attack down the right wing. Tommins plays it upfield to his teammate. I can't actually quite tell who the name is. Great ball in. Free header. And we've got away with that one. And that's how that one finished. Not many highlights in that one. Like what? What? What was it? Three highlights. The, it wasn't a very. It wasn't a very entertaining game. <laughs> but regardless of the entertainment factor, we get the three points, and that's the end of these highlights. Right. So you saw two wins there, and uh, there was another game in between. We did play Newcastle as well, and we beat them uh, one nil. Uh, very undeserved, to be honest. Newcastle were all over us, but there wasn't, you know, many highlights in the game. Newcastle had a lot of possession, few more shots, nothing really like difficult. But we just couldn't get out of our half and we just took one chance and we, we scored with it. So thankfully we got that. But we're on deadline day. Um, now, I asked you last time for a defender. I put four people in the poll. I put Matthews DeLitt, Rafa Varane, Khalidu Koulibaly and Samuel Umtiti. And the winner of that was Samuel Umtiti. So we're going to go buy him now. I'm quite actually, I'm looking forward to using Umtiti. I've never used Umtiti before in a in a... In a in, a, in this FIFA because obviously you always go for Delict because he's got potential and you know he can grow but I'm actually quite looking forward to using him Titty. Let's let's get him. Samuel son, shake my hand, welcome to the posh. We've only gone and fucking smashed our 
transfer record and we've bought the most expensive player so far this window. We'll go and meet him. We'll go give him a brand new number. Uh, we'll probably make him five or something. Sorry, Taffer. I know you're five, but it's, it's time. There he is then, our number five. He's got a European ban for one game. Oh, shit, that reminds me. We might have had our group draw. Yes, we have. So we'll go see who we've got. We've got Ajax, oh, Dortmund, and who's that? Slavia Praha. I have no idea. They're going to be the whipping boys of the group, hopefully. But Ajax and Dortmund, the Dutch champs versus, and the German champs, and probably the, uh, where's Prague? Is Prague in the Czech Republic? I think it is. Probably the Czech champs, I have no fucking idea. But that will get a lot away for that one. Dortmund's going to be a belter. I'm going to see if I can make one more signing in this window. Give me a minute. Are you happy now, Jack? I got him. Erling Blut Holland is finally here. Jack has been asking me to get this boy since day fucking one. <laughs> Jack's had him in football manager for a while. Apparently he scores for fun. He's been scoring for fun in real life. This is the bloke that scored nine in an international match. And we've got him for 15 million quid. He's there because I've just realised I forgot to tell you about something that happened. Uh, we managed to get the funds for that. Because as you can see right there, Ivan Tony has gone. I said, you know, it'll be if I sell him, I sell him. He's not getting played. I'd rather him go elsewhere and get some games because I, I love Ivan Tony. Um, and I said I'm not accepting anything less than 10 million. I managed to get 13 million out of Crystal Palace for Ivan, and I went and spent that on Erling Blood Talon straight away. And right now, our team is taking shape. Ampadu, get out. Ho -ho! Mate, our back line, wait till Dodo's back. Uh, we'll put Dodo in for now just so you can see what our lineup will probably be like. That's probably going to be our lineup uh, for the foreseeable future. And then next season, uh, or maybe in the winter if we've got enough, uh, I doubt we will. One of those is getting upgraded. Either Pagolo or Lewis Reed is going to drop out. And right now, considering the rating, it's probably going to be Lewis Reed. But I don't know whether I can drop him. I don't know, but fucking at least 21. Pagolo's 21, 77. He's probably going to grow. I'm, I'm going to have to replace Lewis Reed. Not replace him. He'll always be here. But it's, it's time to upgrade that spot. Because once we upgrade that spot, we are golden. We can go. Deadline day is coming to an end. Uh, I just want to see if there's like any unusual transfers. Uh, so indeed he's gone to Dortmund. That's a bit of a... Indeed he was at the Juventus. Hang on. Marquinhos to Barca. Any... I just want to see if there's any weird names. Casemiro going to Paris there. That's a big one. Not really that I'm seeing so far. Tom Ince has gone from Stoke to Palmer. That's a bit of a weird one. Kyle Walker. Right. What? <laughs> First off, was at Barcelona. Now going to West Ham. <laughs> Hang the fuck on. Hang the fuck on. H Hang on. I'm not sure whether you saw that there. Fulham have signed Jovic. Is that Luka Jovic? <laughs> Hang on. Let me go check. Oh my god, they have. Oh my god, they have. Fulham have signed Luka Jovic. <laughs> right then, so in this episode, what we're going to do, we're going to play Crystal Palace, we're going to play Ajax, we're going to do highlights of Wolves, Rotherham, well, we're going to sim Rotherham, and Bournemouth, and we're going to finish it off with Borussia Dortmund. So we've got two Champions League fixtures to look forward to. We're making our European debut. Let's do it then. So Crystal Palace is up first. Let's get into that match. I love Selhurst Park. It's a very good stadium. I, I, I like Palace's ground. It's, it's, it's nice. It's one of the best for atmosphere, I reckon. But who cares about atmosphere? Because we're going to kill the atmosphere fucking dead when Peterborough are going to smash you about. Obviously, this man is making his debut. He cost me 85 million. I'm, he's literally never going to not start a game. 85 million? Ballon d'Or winner right there. Gomez, Memphis. Look up there for Reese Nelson. Nelson. Cuts inside. Pulls it across. Gomez! It's blocked by Sacco. Gomez. Memphis is off. On a run, here we go, Memphis Depay hits one back across, and he's put it fucking wide! Reed now, Memphis is trying to sneak away, great first touch, back across, what a finish! Memphis Depay puts it in, 1-0 up, it's probably one of the first 
good chances we've had. Well, Memphis had a good one before, but he's finally took one straight in the top bins. Just getting it in behind the defence there. Great first touch to take it away and the finish outstanding. Keep a no chance. 1-0 up just before halftime. Max Ahrens. Reese is away there. Great ball. Reese Nelson. Look back. Post for Sessignon. Sessignon! Get in! The low balls in have been working this season. Thankfully. I love a low cross. I just love a low cross. <laughs> Reminding me of the championship, all these low crosses. Reese Nelson, their lovely ball across. And we've just got, I think because we've got two flying wingers, Reese Nelson and Ryan Sessignon aren't going to stay back. They love to bomb forward. So they'll always work there. And he's just put it the wrong side of the keeper. Keeper thinks he's going to put it in the near corner. He's put it back across. 2 0 up. Bit more daylight between us and Palace. Oh my god, I've just saw who they've just brought on. You bastards, you've just... I actually completely forgot about Tony. They've literally just brought on Ivan Tony. And I was about to make a change. <laughs> I completely forgot my... I completely forgot I've just sold him to Palace. Right, let's make some changes then. Eddie, get the fuck on the pitch. Let's see if he can, uh, you know, get another goal. And Erling, Brook, Holland, get on the pitch. We're going to make... Let's see if we can get him a goal on his debut. Ivan, I don't want to foul you. But I will. <laughs> if you are breaking through on goal, I will attack. Donsa. Rydvold. Riedervold. Tony! Oh my god, he you cheeky bastard! <laughs> Ivan Tony, he scored one of those for us in like episode 2. And he's gone for it again. Oh man, I'm just glad to see him. I'm just really happy to see him. I just <laughs> if he scored that, I would have accepted it. Ivan has came on for them and has just been a game changer. You know what? I hope he has success at Palace. I hope he scores bangers. But not right now. Because <laughs> we're in. Sessignon. Brian Sessignon pulls it back. Nelson! Oh, it's somehow that didn't go in. Full time then. 2 0 winners in the end. Uh, Palace, start, uh, Palace finished the game off the stronger the two sides. As soon as Ivan Tony came on, they were all over us. <laughs> they were all over us. We get the win in the end. Five wins out of five. We're getting there. We are slowly but surely getting out closer to maybe being title rivals. Maybe being title challengers for this season. It's what I want. This can only mean one thing. It is time. Peterborough are making their European debut. Five series have led up to this moment. Ajax are coming to the Airbag Stadium, London Road, Western Home. We don't we don't talk about Western Home Stadium. Samuel Umtiti is fucking suspended. He must have got suspended while he was at Barcelona. So Benucci is gonna come into the side. Uh, we're also gonna start Max Evans over Reese Nelson, and we're gonna uh, we, we're gonna make sure that you know Reese is that super sub that we that we want him to be. They might have been stolen from. I know the Lit's not there. Um, Frank Frankie De Jong isn't there. Um, who else have they got? I don't know whether Van der Berg's there. Um, they've got... I don't know who's there. Alright? But those are the big ones. <laughs> and I don't know whether, I don't know whether Nerez is there. David Nerez. Zayek. Kadic. I have no idea. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's do it, boys. Come on. This is the biggest game so far. Let's do it. Oh, what a night. Watching Posh play on a Tuesday night. You play Thursday cause you're fucking shite. Oh what a feeling, what a night. Right now, the posh massive are singing that famous old tune. They're all got the chart. They're all doing that right now. They have got Nerez and they have got Tadic. And that was Ziyech. I can't tell the difference. Five seasons have been leading up to this point. Oh. What a night. Oh, what a night. The chat. I assume it's doing that right now, but I can't hear it because I haven't got my headphones in. Look at them. Look at the boys. Where they belong. Tuesday night. Waiting to see who Ajax have got. Oh, a squad photo. Oh, I forgot. Don't put don't put Gomez at the back. Fucking hell, he's like five foot two. Is that Almiron? No, it's not. It just really looks like him. <laughs> so we've got Zoet, Deskiglio, Van Bentham, Verba, Blind, Masrawi, Mufi, Ziek, Bande, Cassiera, and Nerez. They have been fucking robbed. <laughs> Obviously, Ajax have been robbed like they will be in real life, probably. But here we go. Tuesday night. The posher here. Let's go. Let's just get a point. 
against Ajax. Come on up there, Posh, come on! Actually, I just said I just said that let's get a point. Why would we look for a point? We've got nothing to lose. Nobody expect does anybody expect us to do anything against Ajax? I didn't, but then I saw their team and I was like, you know what, we can get something here. So we're gonna get something. Go base! <laughs> I did not expect that at all. Fuck me sideways. Fucking hell. I'm just passing it about. I was talking, I was doing some commentary, and Gomez just does fucking that! Oh my, did you see the spin? Get this from behind. Outside of the foot, the spin on it, right in the stanchion. That's what that's called, where the post meets the crossbar. Right in the stanchion. Fucking hell. What a start. What a start. Oh, what an eye. <laughs> David Neres. Got past his man. He's going to try and whip a ball in, probably. Sold his man in space. Oh, Cassiera has blundered it. He's fluffed his lines. He's gone for the spectacular. And he's it hit his shin, I think, actually, there. Oh, God, he shouldn't have done that. Cassiera got a runner. Neres gives it in field to Hakim Ziyech. Hakim Ziyech going through here. Somebody get that ball off him. I think it was Pagola in the end who tackled. Gomez out wide to Sessignon. See if we can break. Sirachi on the overlap. Come inside. Sirachi. Memphis. Oh, it's a shit first touch, Memphis. Fuck me. Sessignon. Upfield to Gomez. Gomez comes inside. Sessignon now. One more Lewis Reed. Lewis Reed. Great first touch. Hit it low. Come on! <laughs> Fucking come on! Celebrate with the posh massive. They've been here since day one. They've been here since League One. And so has that man. He'll be a he'll be a posh hero in this save right now build the man a statue he's hit it low right at the keeper keeper can't get down quick enough goes through his legs in the end 2-0 up that's just put we'll just relieve some of the pressure now because they were building they were building pressure David Neres come on then you have to do something I don't have to do anything Sriracha there that was a that was a shit touch by Neres you're not gonna cut his moment come on Neres did it to me you come on fucking do it then ah that's how you do it son Max Evans mugs him off dinks it in Memphis looped in oh saved come on then Eddie get yourself on Eddie and Erling are coming on for the last 20 minutes or so Sessing on Sriracha's away if you can get that to him can eventually great turn by him Ketia great turn Ketia's fresh. A fresh and Ketia is deadly. A fresh and Ketia is deadly. Up to Sessignon. Sessignon. Pull it back. Pagolo! It's three! It's three! What a night! Watching Posh play on a Tuesday night. I'm telling you, Eddie. A fresh Eddie is deadly. Sessignon pulls it back. Pagolo puts it across. And it's 3 0. It's 3 0. What a night! Watching Posh play on a Tuesday night. 3-0 winners in our European debut. In our Champions League debut, we smash a giant of Dutch football. We smash former Champions League winners, Ajax. We smash semi-finalists, Ajax. Wow. Right then, so I'm going to play some games of spare time. I'm going to play Wolves. I'm going to sim Rotherham and uh, play Bournemouth. And uh, yeah, and then we'll be back for the Borussia Dortmund game to finish the episode off. So, here are the highlights of these three games. Kicking these highlights off, we took on Wolves. Gomez now with the ball. Upfield to Pagola. Pagola first time to Sessignon. Shoots blocked. But it falls back to Sessignon. Nah, fuck your block, you cunt. Ryan Sessignon. Sessignon. Ryan Sessignon. Na 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 Ryan Sessignog, Sessignog, Ryan Sessignog Erling Haaland now taps the ball down for Gomez on the volley that's just over the bar Rhys Nelson now looking for options gives it to Gomez, Gomez straight back to Nelson Lovely first touch curled straight into the top right corner Great passing in the middle now Haaland gives it to Sessignog, Sessignog back to Haaland, Haaland to Pagolo, Pagolo now Up to Sessignog, great first touch by Sessignog, back across goal <laughs> Sessignog <laughs> That first touch just absolutely bamboozled his defender there. Watch this first touch here. Sells him. Sells him. What a first touch. 
Gomez now playing it wide to Ryan Sessegnon. Sessegnon's got options in the middle. Crosses it in Erling Haaland. Saved. It comes back to Haaland and he put it on from close range for his first goal for us. That's how that one finished. 4-0 in the end and we move on to the Carabao Cup game against Rotherham. Like I said, we simmed it. A complete B team out in the end and we ended up winning it 4-1 in the end. And we're going to move on to the last game of these highlights as we took on Bournemouth. Defence to attack as Max Aaron sticks a foot in. And now we're looking to break forward. Gomez now. Look at the run of Memphis. And Gomez has spotted it as well. Memphis though. He's in a bit of a weird position. Bit of an awkward one. Cuts inside. Gives it to Gomez. And he places it in that top right corner. He's loving that top right corner today. Isn't he Angel Gomez. Angel Gomez again now being a pain in the arse. Lovely heel to heel away from his man. Ball into Memphis. The pie comes flying in. <laughs> what a goal. What a goal. Everything about that was just pure sauce. Pure sauce. This heel to heel, the perfect ball in, the flying volley. What Oh, it's perfect. Perfect. Sirachi now throws it into Sessignon. Sessignon to Pagolo. Pagolo to Gomez. Gomez, Lewis Reed. Lewis Reed takes the touch and fires it into the bottom left corner. And with that, that was the end of this game. 3 0 winners. What a highlights package. We won literally every game by at least three goals. 3 0 at finish against Bournemouth. And that is the end of of these highlights. Oh, some decent highlights there. We won every game and I, we scored at least three in every game. Wolves, we won 4-0. Rotherham, we won 4-1 and Bournemouth, 3-0. Uh, uh, but, here we go. Probably the biggest game. Are we away? Yeah, it is the biggest game in this group then I reckon away at Signal Iduna Park to take on Borussia Dortmund. I've just realised earlier on I called them the German champs. They aren't. <laughs> they aren't. But let's get into it then. Um, Dodo's still injured in a year. Um, Titty's finally making his Champions League debut for us. And a uh, 3-0 against Ajax. I can't see that happening against Dortmund. But we'll give it a, a jolly good go. Let's, I don't know why I said jolly good go. Let's get into it. It's just a gorgeous stadium, in it? Signal the Duna Park. The black and yellow wall are out all around us. The people in the black and yellow kits. We'll see who they've got. I just saw Michi Batshuayi. As they were making their way out. We've seen this before. We don't need to do this again. Oh, it skips all of it. Well, that's Corky from Atletico Madrid. Berkey's still there. Henrik's Jamal Lascelles from Newcastle. Kimpembe, Hakimi, uh, Ndidi, Lucas Torreira, Pordence, Miguel Almiron, Corky and Batshuayi. See, there's Almiron. I swear I saw him play for Ajax. But he was at Dortmund. Who would have knew? So that's a very good team. <laughs> that is a very good team. We'll see what we can do against it. Come on, boys. Let's just put up a fight. Up the posh. Nobody expects anything here. Come on, let's do it. Overlap and run by Corke. Ball in the middle. Oblak comes, punches away. They're already passing it around us nicely. They're, they're very quick on the ball. And uh, they're quick to close us down when they're off it as well. So this could be difficult. And we just can't get a fucking pass away. Again, Almiron. Great first touch to get around. Trapped in a corner. Torreira. Comes inside Almiron. Like I'm sitting there passing it around quickly. We've got a fight on our hands here. Batshuayi Shoot, shoots from there, really? Okay. We can't get fucking out. Almiron, this is going to be a frustrating day for us, this. Probably one of the first times that we've been in their half. Reed. Back to Gomez. We're back to Reed. First touch. He's got through Lewis Reed. Oh, <laughs> No, how's that dropped? Oh! How is that dropped to Torreira? And how is Torreira going to score a banger? Oh, we knew it was coming, but like from that, that's so shit. Ball in, Sirachi heads it away. I don't. Where the fuck is Oblak going? Where the fuck is Oblak going? Oblak's going on a little fucking adventure. He thinks he's in the fucking Lord of the Rings. He's going on an adventure. Where's he going? Memphis, give it back to Gomez. Angel Gomez! Off the fuck! Oh, Max Evans comes inside. Plays it across to Lewis Reed. What a save by Berkey. Evans, infield to Memphis. Memphis, put it across. Oh, fuck you! Jamal Lascelles! Why him? He's fucking shit! Memphis, put it across goal. Put it across goal. Sessignon, you've been making those runs all fucking episode. And then you just don't... The one time where I fucking need you. Oh my god, they've got Jorginho as well. Yeah. Hi, my name's Borussia Dortmund and I like to buy fucking average as fuck Premier League players. It's like they've got 12 men on the pitch 
Has the ref done a head count? Because they're fucking everywhere. And look at the space. Where's my fucking... Where's my wing back? Yeah, we deserve to lose, but that was fucking embarrassing, boys. That was fucking embarrassing. That was fucking shite. Get in the fucking bin. Fucking... You've just been pocketed by Jamal Lascelles. Jamal Lascelles! He's a fucking fraud. The only thing he pockets recently is fucking KFC vouchers, you fucking dirty brick. Right, so that's what I'm going to finish it for today. If you did enjoy the shot, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll be back next week, probably for the next episode of this save. I have no idea when I will be returning, like what games I'm going to play in my spare time. I have literally no idea. Um, but, you know, just stay tuned and we'll find out together because even I don't bloody know. So yeah, um, still top of the league, still unbeaten in the league, only conceded one goal all season. Samuel and Titty has really just, he's done a job. So yeah, that's it. If you want, follow me on Twitter, uh, links in the description. Anything you want is in the description down below as well. Uh, so yeah, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Shot, leave a like and subscribe. But until next time, have a nice day.